Google Ads is a powerful tool for small businesses, especially if you need immediate results. The core benefit of Google Ads over Facebook Ads is that you are catching people right at the time when they are ready to book your service or buy your product. So you don't have to worry about introducing them to your product or selling the core benefits of your product. They have gone to Google for one reason and one reason only, and that is to solve their problem today. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategies that you need to use in Google Ads when you have a small budget. And then after that, I'll show you the exact step-by-step -step process for how you actually go about setting up your campaign in Google Ads when you only have a small budget. My name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. I designed this teaching video especially for small to medium business owners who are operating a service-based business targeting local areas. So if that's you, why don't you like this video and subscribe to my channel right now so you can see every time I release a video to help your business. Business grow. With the correct strategy and campaign setup, Google Ads can change your business. Unfortunately, too many business owners have the wrong strategy and the wrong campaign setup in Google Ads and it's costing them money. So to make sure you have success, you have to a clear strategy, a highly defined initial target market and the correct campaign setup in Google Ads. For success in Google Ads, you need to have a clear strategy. Too many campaigns in Google Ads fail because they don't start with the end in mind. For success in Google Ads, it is extremely important that your ad copy and your website both have one clear goal. And the question you need to answer before you start or set up any Google Ads campaign is, what action do you want the person to take? Do you want them to give you a call? Do you want them to send you an email? Do you want them to fill out a form? Or do you want them to come into your office or your shop? Let me show you two really quick examples of local businesses that are seeing success. And the reason is, is because they have a clear strategy that runs all the way from their ad copy through to their website. The first example I wanna show you is for a pest control and air conditioning service company. As you can see, as soon as you get onto their website, there's a call button up the top right hand corner. And then as you scroll down the page, you see options to contact them. And there's also a Facebook Messenger pop up. Now because this business has a full time customer service representative, they're making it very, very clear that they want their users to contact them so that they can schedule in their booking. And the second business, although it's slightly different, the second business is putting a higher priority on their online website forms. And as you can see, as soon as you get onto the website, you can see the book now button, but that's actually followed up with the Google reviews, which are verifying the fast search service and the fast answer that you receive once you fill out your online form. So while both of those businesses have the same goal of wanting you to contact them in order to make an appointment, there was a slight difference in the focus. The first business, because they have a full-time customer service team, were giving you ways of where you could contact their customer service straight away, whether by a phone call or through Facebook Messenger. Whereas the second business, because they don't have that full-time support, they were giving a clear message that they wanted you to fill out their contact form. But what they then did is take it a step further and have clear Google reviews showing and telling the customer that if you fill out your form, they're gonna respond very, very quickly. So both of these companies are seeing success with Google Ads because they've started with the end in mind and they've got a very, very clear message and strategy on their website of what they want the user to do once they land on your website. The second thing that you need to do as a small business owner for success in Google Ads is to have a well-defined initial target market. And the reason for that as a small business owner or someone entering a new space, it's highly likely that you'll be competing against larger businesses, some of which may have a marketing budget, which is actually larger than your whole gross revenue of your company. And then on top of that, you're also likely to be competing against local, well-established businesses who have a strong following. So for cut through, you need to be very strategic. And you can do this in two core ways. Firstly, don't go after all of your locations. The service area for your business may cover a whole city. And depending on the size and population of your city, you may actually burn through all of your budget before you actually get any initial conversions. So the better strategy when you're starting out is just to pick either one, two, three or four local suburbs that you know you can get some cut through in. The benefit of this is that you're targeting your ad spend on a particular smaller area rather than spreading your smaller budget across multiple suburbs. And then the second option is, is that don't go after all of the keywords in your niche. So for example, as a plumber, you may offer up to five or six different services. But to get cut through, initially you can target some of the lower volume and cheaper keywords that your competitors may not be spending as much time for. For example, rather than going after emergency plumbing services, which have high volume and high costs, you could target some of the smaller themes, maybe around drainage or gas fitting. And this may help you get the initial conversions. And then you can upsell them to more expensive and premium services. The benefit of using these two targeted strategies is, is that once you start to get some success, 
success. And once you start to increase your revenue through Google Ads, you can then go back and do two things. You can start to expand your initial target area that your ads are showing. And then secondly, you can start to add in those extra keyword themes that match your products and your services. But when you do start to expand and scale your campaign, you're able to use some initial data like which ad copy performs the best? What is my best performing age demographics? What are my best performing audiences? So you've already got inbuilt learning that you can use to grow and expand your campaign in a profitable manner. And a very quick pro tip that works well with these two strategies. When you come to write your ad copy in Google Ads, make it as aggressive as possible. And what I mean by that is what is your unique selling point that you can put into your ad copy? Is it that you're offering a cheaper price or an introductory offer? Is it that you offer a higher level of service than your competitors? Is it your experience or qualifications that no one else in your area has? Or it may even be your contract and service conditions. Whatever your unique selling point is, make it very clear on your ads because this will not only help your click-through ratio, but it will also help your end conversion rates. Now that you have your clear strategy and your website is communicating exactly what you want your user to do when they get into your website, and you also have a very clear defined initial market, let's go to setting up your campaign. Let me take you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can set up your very own Google Ads account. The first thing that you need to do is to go to ads.google.com. And then if you already have a Google Ads account, you can quickly go to sign in, or if this is your first time, you can actually go to get started. And then this will bring you to this screen where you either sign into your Google account or you click on this create account button down here. A quick word of warning, if this is your first time in Google Ads, you may see this screen and what you wanna do is you actually wanna go down and you wanna click and go to this switch to expert mode. This will then bring you into this screen where you wanna go in and click on new campaign. Now, because we are focusing on a service-based business, I'm actually gonna put in that we're looking for leads. And then from there, we wanna select a search campaign. And then you have an option to create some conversion actions. I'll skip this for now because later on the campaign, we will have an option to add some call extensions so we can track those calls. You then come down to your campaign name. And with your campaign name, I do recommend that you put in a name that's gonna make it easy for you to understand. So I'll just put local leads campaign, but you may wanna put in the actual city name or the suburb name that your campaign is targeting. Then you press continue. From here, we go to set up our budget and bidding. To set your budget, you set it as a daily budget, but it is important to note that Google actually calculates your daily budget on a monthly amount. And they confirm this for they say here that for the month, you won't pay more than your daily budget times the average number of days in the month. So for example, if you wanna spend $300 a month, you need to put in a daily budget of $10. Or if you wanted to spend $450 a month, you would put in a daily budget of $15. And then the next option is your bidding. When it comes to bidding, you do have options to actually set it for clicks. And if you do have some conversions already, it will give you the option for conversions. But what I would be recommending is that we wanna start the initial focus on clicks. And then once we start to get some conversion actions, we can change that to conversions. In this more settings section, this is just talking about ad rotation, and we're happy to leave that as is for now. So go and click next. Because we're just focusing on a search network, I actually unselect both of these. The reason for why I unselect the include Google search partners is because we don't get as much data, which makes it harder to optimize. So we only want to appear when people are doing Google searches. And then secondly, for the display network, I uncheck this box. And the reason for that is because if we want to start a display or an image-based ad, we're going to set that at a later date, as opposed to Google just using your search ads as a display network ad. Now we come down to locations. And remember what I said with our initial strategy, rather than putting in a whole country, I would actually be going down and targeting it by different postcodes in your local area. And you can do that by typing in your local postcode or zip code. This will then bring up the list and then you can target that local area. From here, if you do wanna target some other postcodes, you can go through and repeat that process. And because we are focusing on a smaller budget campaign, we do wanna go down into this location options selection and we actually wanna select the presence option. Now, the reason for this is because that will only target people who are regularly in our target areas and it'll exclude people who are just showing interest in our areas. And the reason for why I've done this is because obviously we've only got a very small small budget. So we're wanting to make sure that we're only targeting people who are currently in our local area and are most likely to use our product or service. We then want to keep it just in one language. And for this example, we're using English. Now this next step is very, very important. Most people will just skip over this audience segments, but because we are running on a limited budget, it is highly important that we add in some audience segments. So to do that, you want to click down on this button. And then depending on what your product or service is, you want to write in some similar names. So if you're running a plumbing business, you type in plumbing, and then you can select all of the relevant audiences. Or if you're offering personal training, you can then add audiences which match that keyword theme. So then you can go through and select all these audiences and add them to your campaign. Remember with this option, we are just running the observation method, which means that we're not cutting out people who aren't part of your audience segments. It's just that we are getting extra data for people who appear in this audience. You can then go through and click next. We've now come to the part where you need to add in your ad groups, your keywords in your ads. Now I highly recommend that before you go through your campaign setup that you would have already done your keyword research and written your ad copy. I actually have teaching videos on 
both of these subjects and at the end of this video I'll share the links so that you can actually go through and watch my full keyword research tutorial and also my full ad copy tutorial. Now that we've got our keywords and our ad groups added we can just go through and click next. This will bring us to the section where we can add in our extensions. Now I recommend adding as many extensions as possible but for today we're just going to talk about adding site link extensions and then also our call extensions. Now the reason for why I recommend adding site link extensions is for two reasons because once your ads are set up it gives you the ability to send people to different parts of your website which could be about how to contact you, about your services and about individual service offerings. And the additional benefit is is that your ads actually take up more space and it actually doubles the size of your ad. You can see here what it looks like on mobile and then when we go across to desktop we're taking up more screen real estate and highlighting the ad which will actually increase your chances of a user clicking on your ad. So once we've added in through our site like extensions the next option is that we want to add in our call extensions. With our call extension you select your country and then you want to add in your phone number. Now if you want this extension to actually appear on your ads that phone number does also have to appear on your website. Now remember earlier when we we're going through the campaign settings I said that if you add a call extension you'll actually automatically set up some conversion tracking in Google Ads and this is where it happens. So once you've actually added in your phone number you can actually use this conversion action use account settings and then once you actually press save that'll start automatically tracking in Google Ads every time someone has clicked on your ad and then run your phone. So just by using this option, you already have your very first conversion tracking done inside Google Ads. Once you've added in your phone number, you can then go through and click next. This then brings you to the section where you review your campaign. And once you're happy with everything, you just then quickly go through and press publish campaign. Congratulations, you've now set up your new campaign. Now that you have your campaign set up in Google Ads, it's highly important that you have a very clear optimization strategy. So what I've actually done for you, I've actually put together a free Google Ads optimization checklist. And this checklist takes you through the optimizations that you you need to complete on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, and every 90 days. To get your free checklist, just go to the link in my description and you can get yours today. Thank you for sticking around. As always, it's been my absolute pleasure teaching you. And especially today, it's been my honor to actually take small business owners through the steps and how they can actually use the correct strategies and then also go through the step-by-step -step process so they can actually set up their own Google Ads campaign. Now, as promised throughout the video, here are these next two videos that you need to watch. This one over here will help you with your keyword research and this one over here will help you write ads that convert in Google ads. Once again, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you know every time I release a new video so that you can grow your business with Google ads. See you next time.